In this series, I'm breaking down machine learning algorithms in the easiest and most practical way possible. This is part seven, support vector machines, an algorithm that's all about finding the perfect decision boundary. So what is SVM? Imagine you're a bouncer at a club and you need to separate VIP guests from regular customers based on how they are dressed. You could just take a guess, but if you wanted to be precise, you would draw a line between the two groups to make sure nobody gets misclassified. And that's exactly what SVM do. They find the best possible dividing line or hyperplane that separates two categories with the maximum margin. So how does it work? The algorithms look at the data points and tries to find the widest possible gap between categories. It places a decision boundary, which can be a straight line in 2D, a plane in 3D, or a hyperplane in higher dimensions. And then it ensures that the data points closest to the boundary, called support vectors, are correctly classified with the maximum margin of separation. So where is SVM used? Well, it can be used in face recognition, so distinguishing different peoples in images, or also medical diagnosis, so detecting cancerous versus non-cancerous cells in medical imaging. But SVM works best when data is clearly separable, but when categories overlap or the data set is huge, SVM can be slow and struggle to perform well. Follow me for the next part of this series where we will break down another ML algorithm in the simplest way possible.